I'm happy to be here. Can you help us understand how serious this charge is? If foreign money were making its way into the chamber's political ads, uh, would that be illegal? Well, most likely, yes. Uh, there's been a, a prohibition, a flat prohibition on foreign national contributions and expenditures in connection with federal elections for many, many years. And uh, so uh, if it turns out that any money, in fact, is being knowingly put into the process from foreign companies or from foreign government sources, uh, that would be a serious problem. How are, how are those laws against foreign contributions to American political campaigns, how are they actually enforced? I mean, if, if so many of these outside groups don't have to disclose who their donors are, how do you enforce it? Well, we do have uh, a very weak disclosure system right now, and uh, it, uh, it makes it much harder, obviously, to track uh, these kinds of things, to, to get the leads that would help uh, people unearth these kinds of connections. Um, uh, the Federal Election Commission, um, bless their hearts, they have uh, they've issued a, a, a series of rulings recently that have uh, made the disclosure uh, almost uh, non-existent because, in essence, a donor can avoid disclosure by basically uh, not earmarking their money to be used for particular ads for particular candidates. And, and so we're seeing far less disclosure. So the chances of people picking up on these stories is certainly less these days than it used to be. At this point, it, the way that the law is set up with those FEC rulings, with the Citizens United uh, precedent in the Supreme Court, am I right to think that the only real protection that we've got about this is is voluntary? It's sort of the honor system that uh, these PACs that don't disclose their funders assure us that all of their donors are Americans, that uh, foreign governments and, or, 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 or state-owned companies, foreign companies, assure us that they're not trying to influence things in American government. But there's, we sort of have to take their, their word for it. Well, it's an area where there are lots of lawyers and accountants that are busy uh, uh, scurrying about to try to make sure that they can demonstrate, say, that they always had sufficient other kind of money on hand and they didn't have to use the foreign money. Uh, that's what we lawyers do, for example. But, but you're right. The reality is that uh, you, you can't really know for sure without a, a, a thorough system of disclosure. Uh, you can't blame a lot of these organizations. I represent these kinds of organizations uh, on a daily basis, and uh, as a practical matter, nobody really wants to have the, the role of donors disclosed if they can avoid it. But, but I think, you know, a lot of citizens are coming to be more and more aware of this, this gap in our disclosure system, and they're getting frustrated not knowing who's behind these ads. So, you know, I think there will come a time, not this election cycle, but maybe by the next election cycle, where someone will uh, tighten up on the disclosure system and will be able to know more. After the damage is done, as it were, uh, in, this, in, in this election round. Um, Scott Thomas, former chairman of the Federal Election Commission, uh, it's really helpful for us to have your advice to call on tonight. Thank you very much. Happy to help. Still to come, a giant, adorable chart that moves and maybe shimmies. Uh, there's also apparently been a public sighting of Delaware's Christine O'Donnell, the aforementioned Miss O'Donnell, uh, whose singular devotion to the voters of her state and their issues has finally begun in a controlled environment, of course. She is out there. Highlights ahead. You are a business pro, lord of the carry-on, sovereign of the security line. You never take an upgrade for granted. And you rent from National, because only National lets you choose any car in the aisle and go.